So India and the whole world need a lot of Vilesa engineer to go from 5G era to 6G era to go from internet 2.0 to 3.0 and today I'm gonna discuss about the VLSI domain certification offered by NPT. If you feel this topic will help you then please press like button and let's get started. So in this video we'll be discussing about mostly two parts. First part would be related to VLSI domain certification, what are the courses and who all need to be doing this certification and in the part two I'll be discussing about some other courses which will be live in our next semester of NPTEL that is from January to April. Who all should go for this certification? Anybody who are doing their BTEC, they might be from their top tier colleges or from third tier colleges, you should try to get this certification because this certification will allow you to get the expertise needed for VLSI career. Now what about who are doing MTEC? So if you are doing your MTEC on VLSI specialization from any top tier colleges, then this is not required. But if you are doing or pursuing your MTech from other than VLSI domain and that is also from a third tier college, then I would suggest please take up this VLSI domain certification. So if you are doing your MTech from VLSI domain from a top tier colleges, then wait for the last part of this video. And you probably thinking about that what is the utility of getting these certificates because you have heard that certificates has no value. If you are from IITs or from top tier then for sure certificate have no value but otherwise it have a lot of value. And also recently we are seeing opportunities like this. So who knows in future a lot of the employer will ask for a VLSI domain certification. So let's get back to our video. So first thing first, what is all about? So see, these things are taken directly from the brochure issued by NPTEL. I will put a link of full brochure in my description. So here they have described wh wh what this means and it is simple. It is a micro certification where you can learn the specific domain specific things and you can be an expert on that from the professor of IITs and IICs. And how is the main question? And for that, it's like your regular semesters only. You have few core courses and few elective courses. Now the question is that we are pursuing our BTEC, we are pursuing our MTEC, then how to take these courses? So for that, they have given this slide to help you out. If you are doing BTEC, you can follow this path one, part two or path. And also you can forget about this path and you can directly start from anywhere. There is no restriction, nothing. Just the main thing is that you need to complete for VLSI specifically three core courses and two the elective courses. And complete means you need to take the certification exam also. So that means you need to spend 5000 only to get the full VLSI domain certifications from the NPTEL from the IITs. Why 5000? Because to write the exam you need to pay 1000. If you are doing MTEC then you can directly take the electives courses because all the core courses are done in your BTEC only. Elective courses are interesting actually and if you are doing your MTech then please wait for the last part of this video. So here they have suggested 5 core courses but you need to do actually not 3. In the previous slide I was wrong. I was saying 3 core, core courses. No. You need to do 4 core courses and 2 elective courses. So that means 6000 you need to spend. So now thing is that these are great. You can take any of them. They are all wonderful courses. but according to me which courses are great so the main weightage i have given to the faculty like is she or he is interesting people because faculty are the main for any course if they are boring boring would be a wrong word but yeah um, sometimes we feel bored for from few faculty and it's a subjective view it's all upon you and me right if i felt like that professor is boring I just excluded him from my recommendation list and also I have gone through the course structure because course structure need to be industry aligned, current industry aligned. And here actually NPTEL is doing a great thing, their maximum of courses are perfectly industry aligned but still there are few old courses are there which need to be updated. So the recommended list all have a great course structure. So see first core courses core 1, 2, 3 and 4. I will tell you you can skip core 5 because you need to do only 4 core courses one you can skip so core 5 you can skip if you are doing mtech probably you have already done 1 2 3 and 4 and still if you want to get this certification why because you are doing uh, mtech not from vlsi or from a not so great college so then as you have already done these courses you just need to register there 
you just need to go through the course roughly and submit the assignment and take the exam and get the certificates from this four courses for BTEC student who are in their first year second year for you it would be a great thing because in your subject in your syllabus also these core courses would be there so it's like you are studying for one of the courses in your syllabus and also you are getting a certificate from the NPTEL also so for you it's a win-win situation so in core one I'll be suggesting you actually all the three courses are great but still if I want to go with one of the course the best course and that is uh, by professor Nagandra Krishnapura why I'm selecting him here because he has also taken another course which is sadly not here in this recommended list or in this uh, course structure of VLSI domain but that is analog IC design. So if you want to take that subject in the future it would be a great thing if you start with a basic electrical teach by him only. And don't worry I'll include this deck in my description also so in later you can refer which are the courses I have recommended to you. So if you go to the second course then undoubtedly actually undoubtedly I'll recommend you the analog circuit by this professor this professor teach very nicely he's from IT Delhi and I'm fortunate enough to take a live course from him RFIC course now if we come to code 3 then I'll be suggesting you digital electronics by professor Gautam Shaha this is my recommendation because I love his way of teaching then if we come to the core 4 then for sure this all three options are great so you can take any one of them now if you want to take a course any of this course all are available in youtube or in the nptl side you can take them anytime there is no foundation that yes semester is starting or not you can take on your own time but to take a certification you need to register for that course at the beginning of the semester so that means there is a dependency that is this course is live in next semester or not so our next semester for NPTEL will start from January there you can see which of the course is live out of these three one and actually in next slide I'll tell you which courses are live from this syllabus of VLSI domain certification now in the elective part actually elective courses are wonderful because they are the part where you learn about the advanced VLSI design and that's why they are too much interesting so now the question is that which elective course I want to take so if you want to pursue your career in digital domain then undoubtedly I will shortlist these three elective you have to do at least two if you can do three that great or you can choose up and like which other course is live for the semester you can choose on that or if you need to pursue your analog domain then actually I'm surprised why they have not included that course in that is analog IC design which I have mentioned earlier but it is not there so we can't do anything but again uh, this elective number seven is a little bit of helpful if you want to go for a analog domain courses now let us see which are the courses are live for the next semester so the first course which is live and that is your digital design by Gautam Shaha so if you are in your VTEC please take up this course for sure and then the next course and that is uh, actually we are confused right in device physics like out of three which one we need to take great thing is that only one course is live in our January semester so you can go for that if you are in your BTEC and if you haven't taken BTEC and also if you are in your MTEC and you want to get this certificate so you you already have the basics ready everything you just need to go there just submit the assignment and get the certificate of this course okay then the next course which is available and I guess it's a great course would be this one this elective course so for mtech guy never ever dare to miss this course this is the lifeline of VLSI design and for btech guy uh, I would be suggesting you concentrate on this one because this is the prerequisite and after or if you have already done this one like you are in your third year fourth year then for sure you can go for these elective courses so these are the three courses which are live in our next semester if you want to complete your VLSI domain certification but this doesn't mean that there are not other courses are available for example actually these courses are also available but I am very sorry I have I am not impressed with the way of teaching this is just my view right you may find it great so you can also go for these courses also and one thing is very important especially for BTEC student if you are in your first or second semester and if you haven't taken your network earlier then you won't be able to 
अंडरस्टैंड डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एक्चुअली और अदर कोर्सेज फॉर यू नेटवर्क इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कोर्स सो फॉर यू आल बी सजेस्टिंग यू प्लीज टेक नेटवर्क कोर्स फर्स्ट और फॉलो दिस हायर की वन टू थ्री फोर देन ओनली इट वुड बी ग्रेट इफ यू आर इन योर सीनियर इयर ऑफ बी टेक और यू आर डूइंग एम टेक यू कैन टेक दिस कोर्सेज इन एनी ऑर्डर नो इशू सो नाउ वी विल टेक सम अदर कोर्सेज टू टेक अप इन दिस नेक्स्ट सेमिस्टर ऑफ एन पी टी एल हुई आर ग्रेट फॉर ए वी एल एस आई करियर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली दे आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वी एल एस आई डोमेन नोटिफिकेशन सो वॉट आर दे एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज For your analog IC design, if you want to pursue your analog, then this is must. And again, warning: this is not for any B Tech student. For B Tech student, please you concentrate on these things only. First, you complete everything here, and after that only, if you are really interested, then you can go for this analog IC design. This is a little bit tougher course. but again more the hard course imply the more skillful you will become so the next course that is this one actually you can take up these two thing uh, to together just register for one of them analog ic design and just to complement your learning you can just go through the content of this course because in this course they also delude some spy simulation so you'll get a great hand on on the eva tools after that again for an analog engineer you can take up this one and this is actually your network plus plus this will build up on the electrical network basic electrical network you have learned in your btech to the next level if you take this course and i have found one thing that this course actually is very much similar to this course here time varying electrical network so if this course is not available in the next semester and which is obvious not available so you can take up this course now and when our that course would be available time varying uh, electrical network you can just go through all the content and get a certificate and the last course is a great one and that is opm practical application this is more advanced in the analog design domain and for this actually prerequisite would be your analog ic design so if you haven't done in analog ic design then don't go for it and this is taken by the hardik pandya <laughs> not this hardik pandya the professor hardik pandya from iisc bangalore now the question is that i have included this course from my observation but you can also get to know about all these courses if you just go through this link i'll just attach this link in my description and you can find out more great courses and let me know if you find out anything because here you will also get many wonderful courses on ai if you want to pursue ai in your future and actually nptel also have a domain specific to ai to be the ai engineer so that could be a topic for another video and also we have a specific domain for all the communication engineer if you want to pursue your communication like 5g protocol wifi 6 Uh, you want to develop those thing then communication domain would be a great thing for you so you can explore those thing from the nptel domain post and also i have found one great course for all the mtech guys who are pursuing their mtech in communication specialization and that is this course vlsi signal processing so like this you can find out many more interesting course from here which i haven't included so if you find any great course from this list please comment it down because it will help all the student including me so if you got any value from this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are my subscriber then don't forget to like and comment down below and let me know that you are here i'll see you in our next video very soon till then keep learning and tata bye bye